Hello, uh, my name is Dmitry Kosenko. Um, I am a security professional. I work in the uh, physical and network security industry currently for a manufacturer. Uh, one of the reasons that made me very much interested in getting the CEH certification was the fact that um, it expanded my horizons when it came to cybersecurity knowledge, uh, knowledge of cyber best practices, and also um, things that apply to my current profession as a um, sales engineer within the current company that I work at. So what brought my attention to the CEH specifically was when I was doing my research um, for various cybersecurity certifications, I was looking at things like ISC squared, uh, CISSP, I was also looking at um, a few others and CEH kind of came to my attention uh, when I wanted to, you know, further my knowledge um, and my career in cybersecurity, was the fact that it was more, uh, a little bit more hands-on, a little bit more technical, and covered a lot of the um, similar concepts that some of the other ones cover, but it was a little more application-based and more um, kind of oriented towards pen testing and the practical side of things when it comes to uh, cybersecurity knowledge. A lot of what I do currently involves uh, physical security, right? So we work a lot with um, integrator partners and uh, consultants, right, on more the physical security side of things as opposed to network security. However, I do work for a manufacturer that manufactures uh, network security devices, right? So everything sits on a network and uh, some of the customers that we deal with um, are very large and they have very complex networks. So having that knowledge right and having that background is definitely um, useful right it's definitely a benefit uh, in my line of work like, like i said it's not really a pre prerequisite per se but it's more of a uh, benefit and it's more of a um an addition an argument to what i do currently right especially having to deal with uh have or having conversations with it departments right, or uh, those who are in charge of overall security, right, more so um, the stakeholders, right, that manage uh, network security devices and also uh, determine the deployment of network devices going forward. So having that background uh, in cybersecurity knowledge, cybersecurity best practices uh, definitely adds a lot of credibility um, when you go out there and you talk to customers and you talk to uh, your, your clients, right, um, Uh, it certainly has. I mean, it definitely uh, furthered my interest in cybersecurity. Uh, it gave me more knowledge when it came to the actual practical side of things as opposed to the theoretical, which a lot of the other uh, cybersecurity focused certifications um, kind of tend to gravitate towards, right? When we're talking about um, different policies and different frameworks and uh, more of the operations and legal side of things when it comes to cybersecurity as opposed to the technical concepts when it comes to encryption when it comes to the different types of attacks uh, being able to use Kali Linux for example uh, was definitely a lot of fun and it was uh, definitely educational and something that you know I continue to use in my uh, current circumstances One of the things that I found most intriguing about the CH program, um, I did it with a bootcamp course. Um, and one of the very nice things about it was we got very hands-on with uh, Kali Linux and the other security tools that we had at our disposal, right? To be able to uh, not only talk about concepts, but um, act out examples, run scripts, uh, you know, simulate a DDoS attack, some of those various things that you hear about, but you don't always necessarily know how they're uh, executed in practice, right? So more kind of from the pen testing world, uh, more aspects from the pen testing world was definitely the most interesting part of the CEH for me. Uh, I have worked on other certifications, for example, the CISSP, uh, which is much more kind of text-based and book-based, right? Um, you do a lot of memorizing, you do a lot of learning of concepts and things like that. And I say having the CEH definitely helped um, with a lot of those overlapping concepts as well um, in other uh, areas and other certifications like for example ISC squared CISSP. 
Um, I wouldn't say it's exactly the same. It's uh, a lot of ways it's very different, but a lot of the cybersecurity concepts are very similar as well. So uh, as far as the fun part, I think CH is definitely more uh, kind of interesting from that aspect where uh, it's much more hands-on, right, than some of the other certifications that you can see out there. Um, I mean, certainly, yeah. I mean, you uh, at uh, you at EC Council have created uh, this great program, right, for the uh, CEH uh, education and for the exam, right? So I definitely, you know, would like to say thank you to the EC Council team. It's definitely something that is um, furthering uh, people's education when it comes to cybersecurity. It's definitely something that's appealing and interesting to a lot of people. Uh, I say when I, you know, I mention my CA certification to some of my colleagues or maybe other people that I meet in the industry, they're definitely very interested in it. It's definitely something that grabs people's attention as far as, you know, being a good certification to take um, for, you know, either those beginning in cybersecurity or kind of more seasoned professionals, which may already have in the field experience, but want to have that certification for, um, you know, enriching their resume or just for overall enriching their uh, knowledge base. So I think overall, the CH is a very worthwhile certification to take. Uh, it's very educational. Um, it is a lot of fun in many aspects. I mean, it kind of depends on uh, what path uh, you take to uh, achieve that certification. But for me, for example, taking a boot camp with a group of people where you get to ask questions and you get to act out a lot of the things that you discuss was probably the best way. Uh, that's just the type of learner I am. Uh, for someone else, you know, they might choose a different path. But overall, it's a great certification. I would highly recommend it. Thank you very much.